Google Bad Girls Club um, season Miami season 11 episode 4 it starts software left off last week where the girl um, everybody was ganging up on Sarah um, so her and Jazz Monet started fighting Mimi pulls her hair punk ass move Tiana pulls her hair Stephanie is like just basically trying to break them up um, I don't know what Teresa was I don't care um, but yeah, so they fighting. Don't nobody won because they all start jumping her, or well, start pulling her hair because they really wasn't jumping her. They start pulling her hair. So after that, um, she was like, you know, why y'all pull my hair? She asked, I think Tiana did she pull her hair, and um, Tiana was like, yeah, yeah, I'm just hiding or some shit. And so, they start fighting. Because, you know, Tiana was like, square up or whatever. Bitch, that wasn't your... That was not your fight to be jumping in. Punk-ass bitches. Um, so, Tiana and her start fighting. Mimi jumps in once again and start pulling Sarah's hair or whatever. So, they all break it up. I just felt like that shit was so ratchet and stupid. Um, they made Sarah and Jazz Monet go... To a hotel for the night. The next day, Teresa she calls her little ex boyfriend A and A R A and R. I don't know, but she calls him and she started just going in. Soon as he started talking, she started going in him on him about fucking girls and um, do you want her? Do you want me? So we find out that he slept with her friend. Why is you asking him? Do he want you? You if he slept with your friend, like. Bitch, no self-esteem, no self-worth. Once again, you dumb bitches that just don't care about somebody cheating on you and you the dick so good that you're willing to go back. No. Um. After that, Stephanie and Mimi and Teresa sitting there talking and they talking about the little ex-boyfriend, whatever. Sarah, um, come home. They all, you know, giving her the little side eye or whatever. She is, Mimi asked her why was she going home and she just like no like for what what am i going home for so they all just was like okay they kind of gonna ignore her or whatever so she asked her she asked mimi why did she pull her hair and mimi was just gave her some little bugs excuse me we all got a bond in here and you're not part of it whatever um can't stand mimi i just can't i i mm. I, my skin crawls when it comes to Mimi. I just want to punch that bitch in the face. And I really don't even know these girls. And with, my thing is, I don't know none of these girls. And so, me not liking them or liking them is whatever. I'm just giving my opinion on what I see from this. And Mimi, I don't give a fuck if I don't see you, yo, what they edit. I just don't like you. What comes out of Mimi's mouth, I don't like. So, whatever. Um, so after that, Natalie calls and Sarah tells her about them fighting and Mimi jumping in and all that kind of stuff. So she was just like, what the fuck? I, you know, like I told y'all before, Natalie calls the house often. And that's why she was able to just give her that little rundown about that fight because you, we don't see that part, but... Now we call all, all the time for um that bitch Mimi. So anyway, Jazz come home, giving Sarah the side eye, talking about every time she say something, she gonna hit her in the mouth. I'm just like, okay, bitch, y'all fought, get over it. Y'all still gotta live in the house. What's the point? If you wanna stay there, what's the point? Um, Mimi calls back, and her, I mean, Mimi calls Nally. Nally goes in on Mimi for jumping her like. Bitch, that's not a good look. When you trying to make money and hosting parties, bitches going to want to jump you. And Mimi was like, I'm not scared. She, you know, giving her this little face um, when Natalie's talking to her. But Natalie was telling her the real. Like, Natalie knows from experience, when you trying to make money in these clubs, bitches are going to test you because you think you're the baddest girl from the bad girl's um, house. So when you in these clubs, these bitches are going to test you, especially when drinks are being involved. So you're going to get your ass whooped. And from what I see, saw... You're going to get your ass whooped. Um, after that, Sarah, she asked Gigi if she pulled her hair or whatever. Gigi was like, yeah. Which was, like I said, all the bitches pulled her hair. 
Oh, well, I didn't see Teresa do it, but I wouldn't put nothing past none of these hoes. So, um, she was telling her that wasn't cool because her hair was falling out. And you knew, even Stephanie was like, that's fucked up. So, her hair was falling out from the roots. And she was like, you know, it's one thing to fight all you bitches. But when y'all jumping me and pulling my hair, my real hair out, then it's a problem. And I felt her. Because I even felt her when the confessional was like, these bitches want to pull my hair. I'm going to cut their hair while they sleep. And I was like, bitch, I'm with it. I'm so with it because I would have been the same way. Bitch, y'all want to do something to me? I'm going to I fight real dirty, bitch. And y'all ain't going to see it coming. Um. So, yeah. So, then she goes. Sarah goes and talks to Mimi about her pulling her hair. Mimi, like, yeah. She's telling her her hair got pulled out. So, Mimi... After she talked, because, you know, when Natalie was talking to her, she was telling her, bitch, if you going to fight her, you fight you fight her head up. Go fight her head up. You know, don't be jumping her. So, I guess she had these thoughts in her head. So, when Sarah confronted her, she was like, um, bitch, what you want to do? Swing, swing. Sarah was like, okay, let me go put my hair up. She tied her hair up, and it was on and popping from there. Now... I can't say who won this fight because all you saw was hair in everybody's face. What I can say, yes, Mimi, you's a punk bitch because you, all you did was go for her eyes and claw her eyes. Now, people can say, well, in a fight, ain't no fair fight. And I always say that. Ain't no fair fight. So, Sarah, yeah. Bitch, you should have learned how to cover your eyes, duck. I don't know. But, bitch, Mimi, you can't fight. Because I didn't see you swinging. I saw you just trying to get her eyes. And like she said, she was trying to get her off of her. So apparently she was getting her ass whooped. And the editing was just wrong. Stop editing. Start from the beginning to the end. So when we reviewing this shit, we could tell you exactly who won the damn fight. But it made it look like Sarah got her ass whooped. But I don't think so. Because Mimi said it herself. She was trying to get her off of her. Um, she was trying to back her up off of her. So the only thing she can do was quiet her eyes whatever i was like punk bitch anyway they had to send sarah to the hospital to get checked out she had to get a tennis shot because it looked like they said it looked like a cat clawed her eyes um teresa once again her and her boyfriend going at her ex or whatever on the phone whatever yada 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 he say he love her they some stupid ass people i didn't get it i don't know if this this bitch ain't got no storyline so this is the only storyline they can give her i don't know um the producers tells uh, a bitch, Mimi, she had to go home. And I laughed the whole time they were talking to her and were telling her she had to go home. She was just like, whatever. And she was trying to play it off. But you could tell she was mad because this bitch want to be on to the end so she can get all her little fame. But she said she's going to be famous after this. And I'm like, bitch, I, wasn't, I didn't know about you before this. And I'm sure not going to check for you after this. Um, Tiana's on the phone with Briscoe. He says that he got some bottles and he want to come over and party. So... They come over and party. They getting turned the fuck up. Teresa getting turned up. She start getting on the pole. Start dancing for the dudes. And I'm sitting there like, bitch, I don't see no money thrown. Why you doing all that extra shit for some dudes that ain't, mm, mm I wouldn't have been on that pole. And I don't see nothing on the ground. I'd have been like, oh, no, bitch. No, he ain't here for me. But she's so mad at AR that she just trying to get some attention. Um, Stephanie and, um... Tiana talking about they ready for the new girls. Gigi calls all the girls downstairs because they see the um, pictures of the new girls. Yada, yada, yada. So then we get introduced to the new girls, which is Janelle. She's 22. She's from Houston. And Shanae from ATL. I don't know how old she was, but yeah. Um, So they come. They welcome with them with the fake ass. Hey, highs, whatever. No. Um, Nothing really happened. After that fight with Mimi and the homegirl, nothing really happened besides the new girls came back introduced. None of the girls can really cared for Janelle. Basically offered her that looks they didn't like her. Instantly they didn't like her. Now when they was in that little room getting fixed up and um her and Jas Monet was doing their hair. Now she was out of line for kept swinging her hair at Jas Monet and then when Jas Monet said something, she got salty with Jas Monet. Now now was kinda out of line. When they all was sitting at the little jacuzzi and Jasmine, they said something to her about it again. She was just like, oh, it wasn't like that. But bitch, in the, in the um, room when y'all was getting y'all hair done or whatever, doing y'all hair, you were salty. Now, you didn't mean it like that. You should have said it like that from the get-go. That's all I can say about that. Um, 
anyway, Teresa talked to her ex. He hang up in her face and because he want to fuck somebody else, whatever. So they all go to the club. They having fun. They popping bottles. They getting drunk. Teresa is like getting wasted. She is getting white girl wasted for real. And she meets this dude named Callie. Ugly as fuck. Um, so she making out with him. She doing the most with him in the club. It was a trip how they all were trying to get her. But when it's other girls in the club doing stuff, then y'all get mad. I don't get it. But anyway, she was doing the most. So the girls got her out the club or whatever. They get in a limo and she just wilding out. She is wilding out on everybody. She um, hit Tiana in the leg with her heels. She elbowed Jeanette, uh, Jasmine Monet in the face. She just wilding out. So when Stephanie started laughing, she just started attacking Stephanie and it goes off. I don't get it. I don't get it. But hopefully we see the fight and they not edit it. Hopefully they get out the house. I mean, out the car, go in the house and fight. I don't know because they didn't show that part on the next scenes. Or at least I didn't stay for that fat revenge shit to see the next scene. So, I don't know. Anyway, um, this is my review for the Bad Girls Club Miami Season 11, Episode 4. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought about this nice episode. Tell me what you think about the new girls. Um, tell me what you think about Mimi and Sarah's fight, who you thought won, what you thought about Mimi clawing the bitch eyes out. Like I said, when, when you're fighting, ain't nothing fair in a fight. So I get why Mimi clawed her eyes out. I just felt like, bitch, you can't fight if that was the only tactic you can do. Um, anyway, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Keek. I do everything by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Um, except my Instagram is Miss Nika, M I Z Z N E K A 69. Make sure you check out Ashley Miller and Scotty from Mr. Still Standing. They also do Bad Girls Club reviews, so check them out. Also, check out um, Jamar. I think it's Jamar 84, Jamar Washington 84, or something like that. But he, he's good. He's funny. Um, also, check out A Connection TV, Mona Simone. Love Mona Simone. Love Mona Simone. So, yeah. Talk to me and I'll talk back. All right, peace.